What's going on, Naval S community? Once again, another quick chat, and this one is about other transactions. What are those? I have no idea. Don't ask me. I'll tell you who to ask. Hallie from Cali, aka Hallie over there at DAU. She's going to tell you who she is, what she's doing, and why other transactions are important to the Department of the Navy, because that's who we serve, and the DOD alike. Hallie, what's happening? Hey, what's going on, Mohawk Matt? How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, doing well. Just enjoying the sunshine. Yeah, you're out in San Diego, correct? Yes, sunny San Diego. That's fantastic. So, Hallie, tell us about other transactions and what you do at DAU, which is... Other Transaction Authority, Defense Acquisition University, we are here to help. Uh, so you probably have heard the acronym OTA, you might have heard OTs, mm -hmm. what is it? So Other Transaction Authority is authority granted to us in the DOD to enter into these really cool arrangements. This is not your, your dad's bar based procurement. It's not something that is bureaucratic in the, you know, vol voluminous in terms of the rules we have to follow. It is a dynamic tool. We want to engage with industry to get the best of the best for the warfighter, best technology, best product in the hands to make our military the most lethal. So Allie, who do other transactions support? Is it just valuable to folks in the government? Is it valuable to folks outside the government? Like who, who benefits from this? Everybody benefits. So absolutely the DOD, federal government can benefit from other transactions, but we're targeting non-traditional companies, vendors who don't normally play with the government, mom and pop shops, small businesses, folks who otherwise aren't either set up to work with the government because it's expensive to work with us. We've got a lot of rules, a lot of processes and steps, but also folks who otherwise are kind of intimidated by our processes because they can yes. be really bureaucratic at times. Fantastic. So where can people learn more? There's a lot of resources. So FedBizOps, which is the traditional central repository for federal government business opportunities is uh, a good resource to start. But there's a lot of consortiums out there that post opportunities. We're trying to get the word out via social media. So LinkedIn, Facebook, we're trying to reach folks otherwise unaware of where government normally posts business. So we're trying to get in the right places in the right fora. So there's other uh, trade publications, um, industry rich areas like Austin, Silicon Valley, DC. We're trying to get in and get the word out. So vendors know what we're about. Fantastic. Hallie, so, really appreciate you coming on and kind of Tell us just a teaser. You only gave us a little bit, but I think that's enough, hopefully, to get people excited to reach out to, whether it be to us, NavalX, to you guys at DAU, Defense Acquisition University, to learn more and hopefully get involved with other transactions. Great. Thanks so much, Matt. Excellent. Happy to have you. Folks, you heard it there. Get interested. It could be awesome for you. Have a great day. See ya.